Uh, welcome to my Code Talker combo tutorial video. Um, in this video, I will be showing you how to summon three firewall dragons in the same turn uh, with uh, one to two cards, uh, one and a half, two cards. No, uh, just kidding. This isn't a combo video. This is the latest Yu Gi Oh! ban list. And um, first sentence uh, the change to firewall dragon will be. Um, does not take effect until April 14th. It's going from forbidden to unlimited. We're getting three of these things. Now, if you don't know about the Firewall Dragon Errata, let's let's just pull it up real quick. So you can only use uh, the effects of Firewall Dragon once per turn. So it is a hard once per turn. Uh, once per turn, while this card faces on the field, you can target monsters on the field up to number of monsters calling to this card, return them to the hand. And if a monster this card points to destroy battle or sent to the graveyard, wait, wait, am I tripping? No, this isn't the errata because errata says cybers on it. The, the that's the whole point of the errata. The errata is that you only get to special summon out cybers monsters from your hand. That's why you know um, I I called it Code Talker Com Combo Disorder because any deck that cybers pretty much just got a pretty big buff um, if you can turbo out a firewall dragon first turn. Um, the effect to bring back monsters is, is a quick effect. You can use it during your opponent's turn, and it's not only just monsters on the field; it's monsters in the graveyard as well. So you can you can set up a firewall dragon with two to three link arrows, um, you know that are co-linked, and then you can get you know not only monsters on your opponent's field but in their graveyard. You know if they're playing a deck where they're trying to set up the grave like Orcus or something, because you know once that Scrap Raptor comes out, Orcus are going to be running around again. Um, you can shuffle back their monsters in the graveyard as well. It's just really strong. So that's why firewall dragon coming back, even if it's a hard once per turn, is still pretty damn good so they banned union carrier they banned utopic zexal and they banned true king of all calamities i'm glad that they got rid of zexal preemptively because although zexal wasn't doing anything i know robbie cole was like oh you zexal isn't doing anything uh it's not gonna get banned it's not gonna get no all right this card's stupid it shouldn't exist <laughs> so, uh, and true king of all calamities everyone like the the community was begging for this thing to get banned i think Konami was just like all right guys all right sure whatever we'll ban it just because you guys keep complaining about it. Uh, going into Monster, Cyber Angel, Ben 10. Um, Drychon's still going to be a problem. They won't be as consistent, but just limiting it. Um, ben 10 doesn't have a hard ones per turn, so if they can find a way to recycle it, they're going to be in the clear. I mean, Preparation of Rights is still at 3. Fucking the Incantations can still search this thing. I don't think this is going to hurt Drytron that much. Like, they just need to find other cards to play that can just search it. You know, it's like losing two copies of it doesn't really hurt them that much. But yes, you know, it's 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 like a slap on the wrist. It's a slap on the wrist for, for Drytron. And on top of that, they're still getting more support as well. Uh, so keep those cycle readers uh, <laughs> in your fucking side decks. Now, they're bringing back Dragon Buster Destruction Sword to three. Now, if you don't know who Mr. Destruction Sword is, it, so it sounds like a fucking Xenoblade move. Let's go on, uh, let's go on TCG Player. And let's pull up the ultra rare version because you know the commons and ultra rares they actually have different effects. So okay, so you can target Buster Blade. You control get this monster from your hand or your side of the field that I target. While this card is equipped to the monster, your opponent can have special monsters from the extra deck. And while this card is equipped to a monster, you can special the equipped card. Each effect is once per turn. So essentially, it's it's just a domain. It stops your opponent from summoning from the extra deck when it's equipped to a monster. And that's why Union Carry was so good because you can equip this from the deck. That's why this got banned. Um. Now they're now they're bringing this back and keeping Union Carry so that Buster Bladers and Dragon Link can still play. But um, I, actually, I don't know if Dragon Link would be able to use this actually. But yeah, so that Buster Blader can still play, and so that uh, you know it's not a generic thing. Now the thing about Union Carry is that um, it was sort of made like I don't know why they didn't just say put like why they didn't just put Union Monster in the effect. Like, it allows you to equip any monster from your deck. Why not just equip Union Monsters? It's called Union Carrier. This is what is, it's made for, like, decks like ABC, VW, XYZ, Machina, shit like that. And it'll let you equip any monster. Why Why didn't it just, from the beginning, just say Union Monsters? I don't know. Konami doesn't know how to balance their cards. Konami, there's something wrong with them, alright? So, yeah. So, we got Destruction Sword of 3, Firewall Dragon. And for the first time ever, they're actually having a mini... A mini mini ban list now the reason why it's waiting this long is because that's when the ghost from the past set comes out and so with the ghost from the past set that's when the errata version of firewall dragon is going to make its debut in the tcg they bring back rusty bardiche to three people are probably aren't going to like this i think more phantom knight decks are going to be played the, the thing about this card 
is that it was mostly like a first turn thing. Like if if you can have multiple of these, like it's cool. But for for the most part, most decks that use this only really care about turn one to two. Usually turn three to four, you're not really too concerned about Bardish. You just have it on the field just in case. But the fact that it's going back up to three means that Phantom Knights can now play with all of their resources now. Because now you can make it so that it's a, it's a constant um, engine rather than just the first turn combo. You know what I'm saying? So they're bringing back Delorean. Delorean really wasn't that broken to begin with, honestly. Um, it could just recycle a, a bunch of shit and then gain some attack. I don't think it has a quick effect, and I think that's part of the why they, they just bring it back to three. Because if it doesn't have a quick effect in in 2021, I don't know. Is it really worth playing? Uh, Ignister back to three. Um, <laughs> they they couldn't bring back Electromite, but, you know, Triff Gaming, at least he was right about Ignister coming back. So Argent's Force coming back. Uh, fucking Gimmick Puppets finally get their, <laughs> get their rank up magic back after how many years? Because... This stupid Utopic Zexal card, instead of banning this, they're like, hmm, do we ban the card that stops the opponent from playing the game, or do we ban the spell card that just happens to recycle itself? Or in instead of banning Zexal itself, they banned one card of the combo that brings Zexal out. Like, it didn't really make a lot of sense. And lastly, True King's Return, I don't care. Uh, if you play True Draco, you are actually the lowest of low scum. So, yeah, let's let's get into the Kill Talker combo tutorial. No, I'm just kidding. I know VFD got banned in the OCG. I don't know how much that's affected their meta. I don't know if Virtual Worlds are still doing things over there. Or if they're not, but, um, hey, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a new format. Well, actually, it's not that new. It's just, they sort of just switched a few things around. I think the meta's still going to be the same. I think Drytron is still going to be dominating. I think uh, Virtual World is going to take a little bit of work. I don't know if it's still going to be up there. Um, I think decks like Infernoble, Dragon Link, fucking, uh, I don't, I don't know the fucking meta, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's meta right now. Um, Zodiac, I think all, all the, all the decks that, that are meta right now are still going to be meta. Maybe except Virtual World, because, you know, in, in the TCG we have different ways of going about things, and without, um, any con without any confirmation of Crossout Designator, which is why I don't think they bring uh, Max C back. Because if Crossout Designator was coming back, I think they would bring back Max C to a one or two, or even to three. I think they would bring back Max C if, if they knew they were gonna make Crossout Designator. And I think them not bringing back Max C sort of confirms that Designator isn't gonna come out for a little bit longer. And we don't know when it's coming out, maybe it goes from the past, maybe lightning overdrive maybe another set after that we we seriously don't know when that card is finally going to hit the tcg and when it does uh and if you just in case you guys don't know what i'm talking about seriously just say a card and you banish a card with that name from your deck and if you do it's sort of like called by the grave where until the end of this turn its effects are negated and the activated effects and effects of the field of cards with the same original name so essentially you banish a card from your deck and you essentially get to negate that card's effects for for the turn which is pretty strong and it's not just monsters it's any card so if you know the mirror match if you know um or if you know like hand traps that are a problem for you this card is a one card solution for every every little bit of that they've limited call by the grave like a few formats ago and 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 i thought that was because they were making this card like with the quickness i thought it was coming out in the very next set and it's still not here. And Call by the Grave is still limited. So, <laughs> um, I don't really know what's going on. But here we are just waiting for this thing to come back. So that we can have our degenerate hand traps again like Maxi. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be pretty much the same. I think just without VFD, there's going to be less deep. Um, you know, without VFD and Zexel, um, it's going to be funny to see how decks like um, <clears throat> Numeron evolve. Because I think Numeron... It's, it's a good concept, it's just the, the whole deck just banked on this one card. If this one card didn't exist, like, I don't know where Numerons would be right now. Like, it was just a, a silly r little combo that just shouldn't have existed, but it did. Um, and yeah, you know, it's like, these things always happen because Konami just doesn't know how to balance its cards. Um, I don't think DeLorean's going to do much, um, if I'm being completely honest here. Um, ice barriers really aren't that strong. <laughs> I mean... Uh, there is a there's a locals that got topped with them. I mean, 
sure, if you summon Trish turn two, you pretty much win. But otherwise, I don't really think they're they're really that strong. They don't have that many extenders, and uh, they can't really do much, honestly, other than go into a few synchros. So I, I, I don't really see the big wolf about ice barriers, but yeah, you know what? Uh, definitely a lot of uh, good stuff happened here today. Good stuff, and uh, I'm 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 more than excited to finally get to like. I'm waiting for this pandemic to be over because the thing about code talkers with me is that when I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh for like a few months, like code talker was, was the deck that I started to like look into and I was like, wow, this is actually pretty fun. And it's sort of like the deck that kept me playing the game. If code talkers didn't exist, I probably wouldn't be playing Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Code, code talker was my gateway drug back into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So um, to sort of see them finally get the cards that they need, all we need is just that one more Link Monster D Code Talker Heat Soul from the OCG, and I think the deck is going to be perfect. Now the OCG they have Maxi and shit like that, and in Cross Out Designator, so that you know combo decks do have ways to play around hand traps and like stupid shit that like you know that can stop you from playing first turn, and you know we also have triple tactics and stuff like that. So if we're going second, we can still extend after uh, the opponent tries to, to negate or something. But I just think with Firewall even being being able to come back, the, the, the deck has no problem extending into like four or five Link Monsters first turn. The The bigger question is, is like, what do you do with those Link Monsters? The thing about Code Talker is that it, it, it really had a really challenging first turn because it was unable to actually make a board that actually hurt the opponent or that could interact with the opponent. And I think Firewall coming back is going to change that. And the fact Firewall is just coming back to three, not even to one, not to two, just straight back up to three. Um, it's gonna be pretty gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be a pretty fun format for co-talkers and cyber stacks alike. So yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll literally start uh, theory crafting, um, you know, firewall combos. We, we knew firewall was going to come back, but now, you know, now it's like, now we seriously have the confirmation. Now it's time to get busy. All right. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is your boy TCG Nistro here, signing out. Peace.